On today's episode, the Tesla bot Gen 2 is here, Cybertruck parts costs are revealed, and Tesla's holiday update finally delivers 3D parking assist. On December 12th, Tesla's Optimus account on X.com dropped a holiday surprise on us in the form of a video showcasing the abilities of the next generation of the company's bipedal robot. The video shows a brief progression of the Tesla bot from its debut with Bumblebee back in 2020 to the current version which boasts a 30% walking speed boost over the Gen 1 version from March of this year, as well as a 10kg weight reduction and some impressive new updates to the neck, hands, and the now human-shaped feet. The weight reduction and the walking speed boosts are impressive for such a short development time from the March Gen 1. The extra controls in the toes lending the bot a much more steady walking pattern, but the truly impressive leaps in technology come from the neck and hands. And we're speaking mostly about the actuators here. Tesla has made a big deal this year about moving the manufacturing of their actuators in-house. In fact, back in March, they said that the reason Optimus Gen 1 was operating so well compared to the 2020 debut model Bumblebee was because the team had decided to produce these delicate parts themselves rather than using off-the-shelf components. Actuators are the bits that convert input signals into the actual force required to move anything from the Tesla bot's legs to the fine motion of its fingers, and this is where Tesla gets to show off. In the brief moments where we see the robot's neck and fingers move for the first time, the subtitles tell us that the neck now has a 2 DOF actuated joint, and the fingers have a whopping 11 DOF. DOF here refers to degrees of freedom, which in mechanics is referring to the axis on which an object can move. In the case of the new neck joint, this means that the neck can now rotate left and right as well as pitching forwards and backwards, which means that those fingers are very articulated. In fact, the motion of those fingers are now so smooth that Optimus developers felt they had to jump into the replies and confirm that this video wasn't CGI and hadn't been sped up. The really mind-blowing tech is not even the actuators though, it's whatever Tesla is now using to give their robot some tactile sense in its fingers. During the last few seconds of the video, we are shown Optimus handling some eggs with a visualization of the sensors in its fingers. Now robots handle eggs all the time, but they usually do so with little tricks. They're either programmed with the precise amount of force needed to pick up the egg without cracking it, or they're designed to use soft grippers that use suction to hold the delicate object. But Tesla went the more human way and seems to have developed some sort of pressure sensor that allows Optimus to feel whatever it's holding and gauge the correct amount of force to use with those delicate new actuators. This is way closer to how humans actually interact with objects, with the nerves in our fingers telling us things like the shape, texture, and give of a surface and then sending that information to our brains to process and make the decision of how much force to use when manipulating it. And this is exactly how we've been told Optimus works. Back in March when the Gen 1 was showcased, Tesla presenters made a big deal about their robot learning algorithms. That video of Optimus sorting blocks from a little later on in September was another example of it learning by doing, having only received orders to sort the blocks by color, but not how. We don't know any details on this tactile sensing technology quite yet, if we ever will, it could very well be proprietary, but it could very well be used in the robot's feet as well to help it gauge the surface it's walking on, just like we do. This is a gigantic technological leap from earlier this year, and CEO Elon Musk says that he believes Optimus will be able to thread a needle in a year's time. That might seem a bit overly ambitious, but it's hard to state how big a deal giving Optimus tactile senses is. If the team can refine its finger controls a bit more, we could very well see a sewing demonstration in a couple of months. Tesla released their US parts catalog for the new Cybertruck recently, and by December 13th, a copy of several pages that include the normally hidden parts prices showed up on the Cybertruck Owners Club forums. This community definitely works fast, and by all accounts, this looks to be a legitimate copy of the parts catalog. The posting user hasn't said where they've gotten it, but it wouldn't be the first time that some documentation meant for a Tesla service center has leaked to the public. And as it gives us a peek at the unit prices of several important parts of the Cybertruck, we might as well take a look. The most expensive components shown are the ones you might expect, with complex parts like the front steering actuator coming in at $3,300 before tax 
and the powered front trunk assembly costing almost $2,000. The only single piece part that costs that much is unsurprisingly, the gigantic windshield. The massive sheet of armored glass would be costly even if it wasn't tougher than normal, but it ends up being only $1,900 on the sheet. Anyone who owns a vehicle can tell you that the cost of the part is only a portion of what it costs to actually replace something. Labor and retail markups can be brutal, especially with the specialized equipment that will be needed to install some of these parts. But even some critical comments admit that the cost of many items on this catalog are very comparable to vehicles in the Cybertruck's price range. And that might come down to the fact that Cybertrucks aren't painted, so replacing a body panel won't cost more than the parts and labor. The fenders, for instance, are listed at $555, and even the other glass parts in the doors don't cost more than $260. The tires themselves are admittedly a little pricey, with the catalog showing that the 35-inch all-terrain tires are $470 each. Considering Tesla partnered with Goodyear to make them their custom tires, it's not outrageously more expensive than something you'd find on another pickup, and it's also not the most expensive set of tires for an off-roading vehicle either. Probably the funniest thing on this list is the cost to replace the massive windshield wiper coming in at $75. This massive wiper blade costs about the same as replacing a pair of high-quality blades, although most of us likely reach for the cheaper ones more often than not. A lot of extra engineering went into making this single wiper blade work properly, so $75 it is. It will hopefully take some time before we get a real-world cost for repairing a Cybertruck, and if you look at the price catalog on Tesla's site right now, you won't find any prices. So, for now, this is the set of prices we all have to go by. Parts are never cheap, especially for newer vehicles, so if you want to avoid paying any of the costs, try your best to avoid recreating those Cybertruck crash test videos. On December 15th, Tesla full self-driving beta testers took to social media with the release notes for the company's holiday update to their vehicle software. Among a bunch of precision fixes and latency reductions to the local network was a feature that Tesla drivers have been eagerly waiting for, 3D parking visualization, a parking assistance mode that renders a three-dimensional view from a bird's eye perspective. Tesla's version of this feature makes use of their vehicle's camera array and other sensors to construct a live and constantly updating model of the driver's surroundings. Tesla's head of autopilot software, Ashok Aluswamy, was also active on X to give some extra context for how the system operates. Using Tesla's occupancy network, obstacles around the car are modeled in real time by its cameras, allowing for not only a smooth projection of anything in the vehicle's way, but also the prediction of lines for parking spaces and lanes. Unfortunately, owners of older Teslas that are equipped with the ultrasonic sensors will not have access to this new visualizer yet. Because it relies so heavily on the more current camera technology, it's not something that can be readily made available to users without them, but Eliswamy confirmed that the feature will be coming to older models even though he didn't say when. The problem there, of course, is that we can't know how long these users will have to wait. CEO Elon Musk originally said that this 3D vectored bird's eye view was coming to FSD users way back in 2020, over three years ago now. Adding a little bit of insult to injury, several other vehicle brands with parking assist features already had this sort of 3D visualization technology, so Tesla's a few years behind the competition here, even if their version has higher fidelity and better detection. But what matters is that FSD users have it now, and that it's working with that new occupancy network Tesla has been working so hard on, it even got here just in time for some late holiday shopping. So, happy parking, everyone.